Aaron the hitter. Hank swings. It hosted history. Home run for Henry. On more than one occasion. 3,000 for Robin. Was transformed into a football field. And even acted as a movie set. Just a bit outside. And for the last eight months, WISN photojournalist Stephen Radmer owned a large piece, well, pieces, of that history. I don't collect stamps, I don't collect baseball cards, and I wanted to find something really unique, something that was really close to my heart. I mean, the letters on County Stadium, I mean, it's kind of like my holy grail. Through a Facebook group, he purchased all 22 letters that made up Milwaukee County Stadium. All the letters were eight feet tall. They took up a lot of space. My wife hated it. But the boy in him who grew up close to the stadium and spent his teenage summers working there as a food vendor simply couldn't resist. What do those letters mean to me? Wow. Um, history. I mean, if you think about it, if you turn around and see all these people driving on 94, how many eyes have been on those letters? Radler's house is a county stadium collector's item. Section signs, turnstiles, and seats line the walls. The letters, well, they couldn't fit inside. Had fun with them a little bit, you know, took them out and displayed them along our yard a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think it was time to let them go. I mean, the end goal in all this was to find a business to display them so other people could enjoy them. And what better suitor than the brewers themselves, who recently purchased the letters back, even picking them up from his home. I couldn't find a better spot for them. I mean, they're back home. I have no idea what they're going to do with them. But I know they're, you know, in good hands. While the financials of the transaction will remain private, Radmer was able to negotiate one more thing into the deal. He will throw out the first pitch on September 8th. For a kid who grew up going to County Stadium, he calls it a bucket list opportunity. Here at American Family Field, Stephen Watson, WISN 12 News.